Okay, welcome back everybody to Coffee and Art in the Morning. It's hump day. Mike, Mike, Mike. <laughs> I just love doing that every Wednesday. So I'm going to do a quick video here. Well, I say quick. We'll see how, how long it takes. Um, Y'all, uh, I showed on uh, Monday, I did a little mini book haul. Some of the books I got, a couple of them I got at a thrift store. This being one of them. And uh, let's move the camera just a little this way. I think the light is a little better right there. Um, so this is one of the books that I got at the thrift store for like two dollars and a quarter or something like that. And it's a oh, it's a 1960 what was it 67 1967 typewriting uh, how to how to type book. And it's, and it's like this because they're made to flap over and stand up next to your typing to read and to do the, do the exercises, right? And it's double-sided. Um, hang on, let me, let me mute my phone. Um, okay. uh, it is... Um, double-sided and you know this way on one this way on the other so I had thought about going through every page like here's 12 13 14 you know it, it goes sequential like that and then you'd flip it over the other way and come back come back to it the other way like here's page 230 to you know and it goes all the way up to 400 and whatever and uh, so I thought about working it front to back, you know, not on this side, and then turning it over and working it back this way. But then I thought, I really think I want to just work on it, like open the book like this and just work like this and let the, let the words be this way. Does that mean, know what I mean? Y'all know what I mean, Vern? <laughs> so if I did any sketching, drawing, whiting out, and I, I think what I'll do is I'll just do a few different processes because I'm going to do it. It's going to be all kinds of stuff in here. It's going to be kind of like a sketchbook, art journal type thing. It's not going to be like um, my, uh, let me grab one here. It's not going to be like, um, my uh, my uh, collage books where they're you know finished collage pieces start to finish like this and these are varnished so there's a shine to them um, you know where I start a blank page and, and work a complete collage in it I don't want that to be this I want this to be whatever I want it just to be a you know kind of like a, just a sketchbook, art book, art journal type thing, but it doesn't necessarily going to be all collage. Um, Janice. Oh, okay. Thanks, uh, thanks, Lynn. I didn't know she was doing that today. I knew she was doing it this week. Thank you, Lynn, for the info. Um, so, that being said, I just kind of want this to be background to whatever I'm doing. Does that make sense? Some pages have are torn. Some have been taped. And you can see this is what uh, the old tape would do to <laughs> your uh, your paper back in the day. I mean, this is, you know, 40, no, 50. This is 50 years of tape. <laughs> and there are some papers in here. I thought I turned off my volume. Hang on. Um, hang on, guys. There we go. Um, there's some pages that are torn. So when I come across those, I'll tape them and put some washi tape or something. But look at all the scribbles. See all the scribbles and notes and, you know, someone was doing some math problems here, it looks like. Some old long division, the old-fashioned way, the way I know how to do it. <laughs> But anyway, so you see someone was doing some math problems there or something. And uh, so there's just a little bit of notes and all kinds of things in here. So what I wanted to do was 
this is the book you use in school in. What I want to do is show like different ways to start a background or just play. It's been a while since we've done any just plain old. Well, it hadn't been that long because we did. Where's that book? This one. This book where I went through and did backgrounds on all this texture, you know, all these backgrounds. Well, we did some other things too. But, uh, you know, where we've done backgrounds like this. And again, this is like a book that's very, um, it's all the same, you know, it's all the same kind of background to make it uh, cohesive. So here comes Oliver. But if I want to do a book of just all different kinds of things, that's what I want this to be. So, uh, but I'm going <laughs> to want to get some paint out, so Oliver's going to have to go. You're going to have to go, big guy. You made your appearance in the last video. I can't paint with you here because you want to stick your little paw. Yes, you do. You want to stick your little paw in the paint. So, so tell everybody hello, and then we're going to move you. It's hard to, you know, it's hard to resist. You don't want them to go. You just want to sit here and pet, pet love and give kitty massages <laughs> uh, uh, oh well yeah i just got i just picked this one up at the thrift store okay so we're gonna have to move you because we're gonna paint so you're gonna have to go you're gonna have to get I could just sit and pat them all day. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I know, I know. All right, so let's see. Let's get some, let's do a couple different things. We'll get some paint, maybe do some, uh, and again, I have this, I bought this bottle of gesso because it was on sale for $4 and change from Hobby Lobby when they had that big clearance. Uh, Bob Ross gesso. So I usually just use white paint. You know, but we'll use some of this because I bought it for cheap. I uh, also have all kinds of inks that I got. Got all kinds of inks. So let's do a couple different things. Well, let's let's do the gesso one first. Okay, so we're going to put some... I'll put some gesso. <clears throat> and we'll do gesso and ink. Oh, i got to get me some baby wipes out. Okay, so I will, let's just put some gesso kind of on here. Just to make, I'm just making some texture is all I'm doing. And I want to leave, you know, some of the text and all showing. And again, anytime you're working in an art journal or an altered book or anything like that, it's best if you don't go front to back uh, anyway. It's best if you do some in the middle, in the back, in the front, because otherwise your spine will get warped. I've shown you all that with my, uh, what do you call it, a magazine journals. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> yeah. Will you take out? Will I take out pages? No, Jean. I won't take out any pages. Um, it might get a little fluffy, but I'm not going to add dimensional items. I'll add paper, but I won't add. Um, I won't add. You know, scrapbook like a you know thick ephemera or anything like that. So it might get fluffy, but oh well. <laughs> All right. So let's dry this. And I'm going to do some string art in it, too. You know how we did the string art pulls? Like we all saw on Facebook last, what, two weeks ago or whatever it was? And we did a whole bunch of those. I'll show the ones that I did in the art journal. But I want to do a couple in here just to have them in here. So we'll just play around with some different techniques. <laughs> he got into some beats. <laughs> <laughs> 
Your white cat got into beats? <laughs> And I don't care if the pages get warpy or any of that either. It's taking a minute to dry. Maybe the paper was, uh, I don't know, less absorbent back then? <laughs> it's just taking a minute to dry. Hi, Ann. Ann, did you get moved, by the way? I asked earlier, and you probably answered, but I didn't see it. Did you get all moved? Okay, so there's still a little bit of... Okay, let me keep drawing a minute. Okay, and this paper, it's going to get paint on it. It's 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 not it's here just to be a desk cover. So it's not here to be. I'm, I don't move it when I'm wearing. It's just going to get paint and stuff all over it too. The only reason I got a new paper, other than I just saw this in Hobby Lobby and it was pretty, is that my black outer space paper, you know, the black craft paper that I had the last few weeks, is starting to get torn and I'm catching things on it and I'm taping it constantly. So it was time for a new uh, paper over my desk. And that being said, I think we dug through one time. I think I'm, I, I think I'm, gosh, I think I'm up to about 15 layers of paper here. So the next time I take this off, I'll have to do a video on taking off all the layers. We'll take off all the layers on here. Uh, okay, it's still a little, hmm. Let me, maybe I got it a little thick in a couple spots. But if some of them, like this has got a little bit of tor tear going on here, you know, we could, and again, I don't trust washi tape as tape, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's best to be glued down. I, I just don't trust the, the stickiness of it, but I'm just going to put some washi tape here on this part that's torn right there, and, uh, you know. I want to do it on both sides because this is us this book's 50 years old right so <laughs> it's gonna have a few rips and tears but the thing about this is this just adds more texture more color more whatever to it because it's old it's an old baby all right so there we go let's just maybe we'll just add another piece of a piece or two here why not and this has got a bunch of little crystals on it. It's one of those, come in, it's one of those Michael's tubes of washi tape. And uh, I had to run the cats out because... Uh, I locked them up over there. Oh, okay, because they're bugging you too? <laughs> well, no, ADT's on the way. They're being oh, okay, to fix the sensors? Okay, yeah, thank you. I had off of his tools and getting them Okay, and, yeah. yeah Hubster had to lock up the cats in the other room because ADT's coming to fix a sensor on the window. And when the, the cats are not afraid of anybody, they'll be in his toolbox, batting out screwdrivers and whatever. They both made an appearance earlier. So, yeah, uh, don't let them turn off the electricity, though. <laughs> a hair dryer will work, Jody, but not the same. A hair dryer is not near as hot. This is very hot. Heat guns are extremely hot. Do not put your hand under there. Uh, no. But you can dry with a hair dryer. Just take longer. Okay? All right. So, now I think I want to do some inks. So do I want to do blue? Do I want to do green? This is dark green. Let's do maybe some, what's this blue? Do I want to do turquoise? No, that's the kind of frosty one. Let's see, where's, what blue do I want? We've got all these inks. Got Payne's Gray. I like the Payne's Gray, but there's that other blue. What's that other blue called? Hmm. What's the blue I'm looking for? Is it this one? Indigo, yeah, we're going to go with indigo. And it's going to make a mess, so I probably should put something down because it's going to get, I'm going to drip. 
so let's just put uh, a piece of wax paper or something down. I don't care if it gets on the pink paper. I just, and I probably should be wearing something besides a white shirt. Let's pull up the old sleeves there. So I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to do some drips. I'm going to put drips on the non-gessoed area and let it drip over the gesso area. And then I'm going to take a baby wipe and kind of blend it out. So we'll see what happens. All right. So let's see. So I'm going to set this up for a moment. Kind of lean it up, I should say. Because it's a floppy old book. <laughs> Let's do one side at a time. So I'm going to squeeze out some. And I'm just going to kind of put a row there. And then I'm going to get my water bottle. It depends on how much water you want to put. So you can see how much is dripping down. Okay, so now let's go over to this side. Fan is wanting to blow my wax paper. And I'm going to put a little at the top here. Add water to make it run. Okay. Now I don't want this to go to waste. I don't want all this ink to go to waste. So what I'm going to do is even though I don't have any other pages, well let me dry this first. This is not going anywhere. It's sitting on wax paper. It's not going to dry in a second, right? So let me dry the book first and then I'll smack and drag a page. A different page. And this paper seems to be really very almost non-porous like. So it's not sinking in very quickly. So let me just take a minute to let it dry. Both sides here. You like it? <laughs> okay, let me just take my baby wipe and kind of tap up anything that's still wet. It's, it's taking a lot. I'm kind of surprised at how long it's taking to dry. Um, the paper is just not very um, absorbent. Even where, even where there's no gesso. All right, so now I'm going to just come over here to another page. Let me put a post-it note here where, hang on, let me get up something here. Oh, let me just use this card. I just want to put something there so I remember where I am. All right, so I don't want this ink to go to waste. So now I'm just going to do a smack and drag. Try not to make a mess on my clothes. And I'm going to take the book and see all the ink that's left on the wax paper. I'm going to smack and drag. Okay. Now... Let me get the drips off there. There's a lot of ink on there. I probably should dry this before I move on. So you can see where I smack and drag. All right, so let's turn the book over. Go over here and smack. I say smack. I'm not really smacking because it's kind of heavy to smack. Okay, so now i got all that ink. All right, so there's still more on here I could use, but, um, yeah, I'm going to make a mess on, like, everywhere. So let's just move that for a minute. Let's go back over here and dry this. Yeah, it is different. The paper is different. It's not, it's just not soaking in like most papers that we use do. It's almost like it's got some kind of a coating on it. That it's kind of, it's not shiny. The paper's not shiny. But you want to make sure things are pretty dry, otherwise it'll stick your pages together when you close them.
so it's taken me another extra minute to dry these. And this is just acrylic ink, which means that it once it's you know it's dry here, it's going to be waterproof because it's acrylic. It's not like watercolor where it would re or dilutions, which that's good too. We might do some dilution spraying in here. Okay, so let's kind of get the excess off there because it's not wanting to dry that quick. All right, now let's go back to where that other page was. Okay, so here's our drippy page. And both pages are kind of cool. Now what I want to do, though, is let's take a separate color, like maybe an, an ochre or an orange. Let's go with it. Well, I kind of like this one. Let's go with this. Let's go with... Um, uh, is it burn umber? I'm just going to squeeze that just a little. This goes a long way. Add a little water to it, and then I'll get a clean spot on my baby wipe here. Dip it in here, and I'm going to go over the gesso. And I'm trying to see if it has kind of the same effect as it did in the... Uh, in a uh, resist the gesso like it did in the uh, other journal. And not as much. It's a different effect on this old paper. It is different. This paper, you know, having the old paper, it's kind of making some hills kind of thing. So you can still see the gesso coming through. Let's dry it and see what happens. There's a little bit still up there that's blue that's not the old tape is resisting the ink so if you're watching the recording you don't want to see the drawing process just fast forward Because it is taking longer to dry, which is kind of weird to me. Okay, now let's go back to that other page. And the ink is getting on the edges. That's fine. It's going to be a junky, arty, you know, whatever. All right, so here is where we had the smack and drag where we used up the rest of that ink. So now let's just use up some more of that uh ochre color here what's I'm just using what's in the baby wipe just to kind of kind of use it like a desk journal right you know all my leather desk journals I use one a year kind of like that so you can use it for that or just to throw your extra stuff in oh I'm sitting on my foot let me grab one <clears throat> I did a whole video on all my art journals, so I'm not going to show that, but just so you can kind of see what I mean when you throw in your extra stuff and just whatever's left over, you can put it on here. And I just call it a desk journal. And it just means that it's handy. It's handy to keep to throw stuff in. This could be the same. It could be a place just to draw, to sketch, to test glue, collage. It could be a little of all of it. See, that's what I like about this. A drying again. Hey, Dr. Guy. Anybody else me? Anybody else popping in? I'm just playing in this old typewriter book. Just put, throwing, some, throwing some ink and paint and whatever down just for a few minutes just to get it started. You know, just to get it started, just to get some stuff, you know, show you how to throw some paint on here. This is the book I'm doing. And I'm just using it this way. All right, so now maybe let's try, we did some ink. There's still a lot of ink on here in that baby wipe. Let's, uh, let's scrape on some paint. Uh, I still got a little bit of that gesso left. Let's just use the rest of that up. 
just throw the scrape up the rest of that gesso and now let's see maybe uh let's see what color paint do i want to use oh uh, i don't know i love me and my blue grays all right so i'm gonna get some blue harbor out here and let's just take a card just take a card and kind of get it all in there and just kind of scrape I like it. it makes it like a giant, um, like a giant palette knife, right? So if you have extra paint, just do this. <laughs> Hot mess day. This could be Mount Fuji at the end of the day. <laughs> okay, and then you could always let's dry it. Oh, I kind of like the cover looking like it is, you know, but that's a good question. Am I going to alter the cover? I like the idea of the typewriter being the cover, the typewriter book. It just, I'm so kind of surprised at how long things take to dry because usually things dry real quick. And this is just taking a little longer. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the baby wipe or the that I have the, some more of that ink left. And let's just add some of the rest of that ink. Let's just use it up here. And then that way you can still see some of the text too. I don't know, it's just kind of cool. I need just a little bit more ink. I think. Another drop and a squirt of water into it. There we go. Kind of scrub it in. And this is probably, I'll get out a couple of my distress inks, my pads, and we'll scruff them up with some of that too. All right, let's dry this. Sun goes behind the clouds and Okay. Still a little damp, but I think we oh wow, that just went that went dark. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. All right. Who remembers typing class? I didn't take typing. Um, I don't remember what I took. Probably art. Um, I don't remember. Oh, there's my mailman. Is he getting out and bringing something? Okay, so there we go. Now let's uh, take some Distress Ink. Let's see. Did I put all the pads in? Let me see where I put them. So I had some in one box and some in the... Okay, I think I put all my... Some archival... Not these colors. Let's maybe pull those colors out. Got, I got some archivals. And I'll get some uh, distress as well. Let's get to those. I'm going to go down. Let's see. Let's try this one. And then yeah, I don't know. Some of these are probably a little old. Try these two. Try a couple of distresses, some archivals. The archivals are newer, so I know there's ink. I don't know how I got some of these. I have duplicates of. So, but anyway, this one's Age Mahogany. And uh, let's just put 
because the book is kind of oldy and wrinkly, you know, so this is, is an extra. All right, so I'm going to put some of that on there. I don't know. I don't remember, just a stress ink move with water. <laughs> What's saying? I don't, yeah, it does. Can't remember. Sometimes I can't remember which ones move with water and which ones don't. Okay, so let's just get a little bit in the crevice there just to tint it. And we'll do one with Distress Ink, too, which does reactivate. Some of them reactivate. Archivals won't, but Distress will. So just so you can see some different, throwing some different things on here. Yeah, mine was... might do some collage you know we can do a star you know nebula we can do you know we'll do a few different things I don't know that anything's going to be completely finished here but I just thought we'd get started doing some altering so we're not afraid to touch it all right so now let's go to this one's some filter what is that fired brick fired brick yeah let's take a little bit of fired brick Add a little bit more darker red up here. Okay. I don't know if this is interesting to anybody, but we're just, you know, throwing down some... We're throwing down. Because we can. All right. So, do I put anything else on this one? Let's get a little uh, indigo again. Well, this is Payne's Gray. We'll go with Payne's Gray. We'll put some paint, Payne's Gray. Tiny bit of water and a brush. It's kind of fluffy. Hang on. Oh. Add one here that was made for made for flinging spots. Another one. All right, so I want to add a little water and ink there, and let's do some splattering. And see what's cool is the text is all still showing through. Now this is probably going to take forever to dry. I didn't think about that. <laughs> all right. Mm. So I don't know if you can see that. You can always make it drip. Eh, let's just dry it. Well, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go ahead and close it and make some ink splots. That'll be just to help it dry quicker. And they'll do a string pull. I'm afraid to close it completely without it drying. I can put some wax paper or something between it because I don't want them to stick together. So let's just tap those ink splots out a little. Because it's going to take a while to dry. That's the most surprising thing to me about this book. Is how long it's taking to dry. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where's, what do I do with my stretchy string? I got a piece of stretchy string. I'll just get another piece. Hmm. So this is the string that I've been using for the um, stringy pull thing. So let's get a piece of this. I don't know. Is anybody enjoying this? <laughs> we'll work a couple more minutes. All right. Um, and I'm going to find, I'm just going to go with an, 
See, I think there's some kind of coating on this paper, actually. I mean, it's got a sh little bit of a sheen to it, but I really thought it would be more absorbent as old as it is. You're welcome, guys. All right, so let's just go with, um, I don't know what color. Let's see, we got a little bit of that blue left in there. Let's add a little bit more. Let's add a little bit more. Uh, this is Payne's Gray. It doesn't matter, really. Let's add a little bit of a drop of that. And a little bit more water and how I did the other ones which I can pull out and show you I just took the string and kind of wrapped it up and with the back end of a paintbrush I kind of dipped it in the paint dipped it in the ink kind of just soaked up the ink there on the string now you can do the standard loopy thing if you just do that one loop and a pull, it looks like the stand, your iris or whatever it is. Um, here, I'll show you one. Like, here's the book, other book that I was doing some of the string art in. It'll just look like, you'll see everybody's string art looks exactly like this. Kind of like this. That same design. I did two of them there, but you get the idea. Um... They kind of all look the same. So that's why what I did is I, I, after I did the string art, I tried to turn it into something. Like these two grasshoppers having a meeting. <laughs> but, uh, oh, here's another one. So I tried to make it a little different. So let's see what happens on this book. So I'm going to pick this up, right, and put it on here. I, I hope I got enough ink on there. I may not have got enough ink. This may be really light. We'll try it. Because I think I didn't, I, I didn't get enough ink on this. But we're going to close the book and pull the string. I don't I'm not even... No. Hang on, guys. There's not enough ink on there. Let's get some more. Uh, let's get... Let's go with Payne's Gray. What is this? That's black. I don't want pure black. I'd rather have Payne's Gray. Where did it go? Where's my Payne's Gray? Yeah. Okay, so let's squeeze out more ink and no water because I want it to be dark. I want it to show. And I don't even know if this book is going to take the ink. It might really resist the ink, you know? The paper is kind of shiny, yeah. Okay, so let's put this in here. Let's get it nice and inky. Just kind of sticking it in there with the paint back end of a paintbrush. Okay, now let's try again. Okay, let's just see what happens here with this. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'll just, I don't even need to close the whole book. I wanna close it just enough to give it some pressure. And then you've gotta put a lot of pressure on it and then you pull the string. And I kinda try to move it from end to end because I'm not really trying to make a flower. You know? I'm, I'm just trying to make a design. You know, it's kind of like your Rorschach. You make whatever out of it. Let's go maybe up to the top. All right, now let's see what happens. And, of course, I lost my place. Here we go. So, there we go. It's not very dark. Um, I mean, I use a dark blue ink. Payne's gray. But, there you go. So, you can see can always make something that looks like an angel or something here. Just use up the rest of that ink. Could be a bird. Can make it a bird. Anyway, you get the idea. All right, let's dry. Oh, 
we could close the book and get some of the excess ink on the other side. <laughs> and it's funny because everybody sees different things. Stoppy. I know, Lino, I did a whole bunch, um, I did a whole bunch in that other book, you know, I did the owls, let me see, where's those owls? I don't think it's this far. I mean, there's a whole bunch in there. They're just not happening to open on the ones that are inked. Where are they? It must be toward the back. Had a piece of paper in there, so yeah, I made a little, I made a little, uh, made owls out of them, <laughs> out of the strings. So yeah. Okay. But I just want to play in the book. I just, I'm really just trying to throw some paint, throw some ink down. All right, let's go to this another page. Let's just get this. Uh, this is uh, aquamarine. You know, if you got extra whatever. Um, we could do, you could do stamping, of course. It's just like any of the backgrounds we do. Any of it. It can all be, you know, it can all be done. Let's do, um, let's do another color paint here. Let's do paint and ink. Let's see. I'm just shaking it up. Let's move that string. And of course, I picked up one that I hadn't opened yet. Let me get my knife and open this. No scissors. Something. No scissors sitting here. Yet. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I just, you know, just got to have some days where you just have, you just play, you know, you just kind of play. And you can always add, you know, maybe we'll glue something down on this one. I don't know. Be hills. And it doesn't have to be anything in the, necessarily in the background. You can just draw on top of it or whatever. Or glue your drawings down. Okay, so let's got that. Let's take our... Let's take this this baby wipe. Let's pick up some of that blue that's left over. Oh, my sleeve is... I'm dragging my white sleeve through all this ink. I was only going to color today, not paint. So, let's, this is wet, so let's just... Smear it all down. And let's get do a little more drips here. my wax paper. I need something under this. Oh, oh I just found a cloud. Where oh, put it? Piece of 
parchment here. All right, let's just. It's gonna be a thing of trees. Hang on, guys. I know you can't see it. I'm smacking it down here. All right. Where's my baby light? Okay. Got so many projects going. All right. Let's draw. The, let's dry these trees. <laughs> And let's see what we can do with maybe some Posca over the top. I don't know. It's going to take a minute to dry, so fast forward if you're watching the recording. Because this paper is just odd. It's just odd paper. <laughs> Let's stay a couple more minutes. Is there anything else you want to try on it? I mean, other than just, you know, starting to glue and make things. I just wanted to get some background started on it. Oh yeah, it's fun to do the string pulls. But try to make them, if you just do them like they show on Facebook, they all look the same. They all just look like that same flower. Just this book takes forever to dry. Yeah, I could drip paint too, Jean. Yeah, either one. Yeah. Okay, so where's my... Let me get another baby wipe here. Pour dripping paint. You mean just do the same thing but with acrylic paint, Jean? Is that what you mean? Using paint instead of ink? It would probably dry faster. Maybe. I don't know. What did Ann say? I guess it scrolled off. Poor Jean. Oh, she doesn't like... Oh, yeah, Jean doesn't like drips. I forgot. And splatters either. <laughs> Okay, so I gotta dry it more if I'm gonna hit go of, get some Posca paint on here. I guess I could just use paint or ink and paint it rather than draw it. And you can scrape it. You can, you know, palette knife it. You can scrape it all kinds of colors. We'll, I'll get out the, I'll do a couple of squirts of distress sprays here in a minute. Um, I don't know that this is dry enough. It's still a little damp. So let's see. Because I was thinking of doing trees and, you know, tree branches. And just, you know, kind of doodle. Kind of follow the drips. Y'all see that?
got a little flash down. There we go. And just keep going. do this with anything you're gonna do it you know remember we did the one in the magazine journal we did the cactus you know so get the idea all right um let's do a couple sprays we'll do a couple spritzes with the dilutions let's see i'm not sure which one of these work work anymore let's do a i haven't used them in a while and then i got these little bits of these little things are falling out of some journal or something. I got some wings here. I got a cloud. <laughs> I got some of my cameo cutouts that fell out of some journal. Okay, so, you know, the sprays, the dilution sprays. Okay. And see, I can see it sitting on top. So this paper has some kind of a coating on it. We'll close the book and see what happens. Add some water, just a little bit, kind of make it move around. And we'll close the book just to make it smear the whole book. <laughs> Let's get it out of the crack. So you could, you know, start with the spray. I'm just showing you all the different things we've done over the years, guys. Different kinds of materials. Um, oh, this may take a minute. <laughs> and it's not going through. So it's going to have some kind of coating on, on this book. This typewriter book. Yeah, I did jellyfish on the big posters. Well, I don't even know where I put those posters. My big inky drip posters. I did jellyfish, trees. They're put away though. I don't even know where they are. They're in one of my big portfolios under the table. When I cleaned up, I stuck all those big posters in a portfolio. But yeah, um, I don't know if I can even get at them. Oh, hang on. Some of the big drippies that we did. Let's see. Okay, here we go. I found them. So I can do the same type of thing. I'll show you these and then we'll go. So, move this to the side. I got a big mess to clean up in here, guys. I don't have any room. I know, I gotta move this stuff to have a space. So, we did a. Uh, three layers guys it looks like I have a lot of space but it's really not as big as you think all right so uh, when we first got the inks I'm still making room when we first got the inks we did drips on big pieces of paper Hang on, still shuffling. <laughs> so room to put this. So if y'all remember, we did some things like this giant rooster. <laughs> this was with all drippy ink. So we just did ink drips, and then we went back in with the white Posca and started doodling on top.
we did splatters, drips, everything that we could play with with the inks. This this isn't this isn't one. I don't know how this. I don't think this is one. It's something else. Um, we did splatters, some collaging, and you can cut these up. You know. Uh, what else do we have in here? Some more. This is this could be one giant tree, or it could be a jellyfish. We did some jellyfish in here too. We did a bunch of these trees and jellyfish. What else is in here? We did a bunch of these. I mean, we did tons of these <laughs> with every color combination. Here's some trees. And again, you can take your white. Sit still there. Take your white Posca and you can go in here and And just doodle on top. You know, as much much or as little as you, you know, want. Um, thanks, Lynn. Good to see you. Start out with about 14 by 14. End up with 6 by 6. Yeah, you can cut them up. Uh, let's see what else. Here's some more that we were planning on from some jellyfish. Here's just some glued down stuff that we started with some undersea something. This was a collage thing I did for a, pro, um, a challenge. The, uh, what do you call it? Um, take me to your leader. Here's where we glued on some of the color book images. Here's another big poster we started that's with uh, abandoned places. Where, where's my... Um, Here's somewhere we started to use the Jane Davenport Napkin Girls. Jane Davenport Napkin Girls. <clears throat> we did these uh, peacock feathers. This is all with the drips. We dripped uh, purple, lime green, blue. Splatter. So we did these, and you know, we never got back to them. Then when I, when we looked at them, they looked like they were, they were crying. <laughs> I was thinking they could look like singing, but they look like they're crying. Ah, ah. But anyway, so there's just some more things you can do. Let's tilt it. There's a better color. You can do with the drips and the inks and the sprays and the splatters. And you can go in there and doodle on top with whatever. It doesn't have to be a white Posca. It can be whatever. So, yeah, fit, doodle on top of your color book. Yeah. So you can, you know, it's just all fun. You know, we could we could give them wings. <laughs> yeah, it goes this way. We could give we could give all the all the uh Anywho. So I just wanted to throw a little ink and stuff down on uh, on my uh, typewriter book. Can I think for a minute? <laughs> typewriter book. And you can use your cutouts. You can use your ephemera. You can use your collage. You know, we could be... Could use different bits... Where's my book? Okay, there's that glare. Where's that glare coming from? I mean, I know it's coming from the light, but... So then you can start doing, you know, anything you want on it. So, yeah, collage, make your worlds. Or just play. You know, you could just sell the whole thing over and draw on it, paint on it, doodle on it. So anyway, guys, I think we'll call that a wrap.
just uh, a little play in the 20th century, 1967, 50 year and one, 51 year old book, typewriter book. Probably be fun to do some um, typewriter um, stamping on, but yeah, the paper has just got a coating on it. You know, it's got a sheen to it that resists water medium. Let's. Oh, let me do one other test. Let's see what happens with color pencil. Let's see. Oh, color pencil is on, goes on it. Let's put the color pencil over the something here. See, it goes it goes over the ink and everything, and it also just goes over the top of the the plain paper. <laughs> Thanks, Ange. And I hope you're getting moved in and settled. Did you, oh, Ange, did you get the little, um, the little, uh, file folder folded up ATC holder I sent you? Did you get that a couple, like a month ago? You mm -hmm. might have said, and I just missed it. I sent it like a month ago. The little folded up file folder ATC holder. Did you get it? Wait and see what Ange says there. There's a lag in chat, so I have to, I have to wait. Oh, and the other thing too, stencils, guys. While I'm thinking of it, let me see if I can just find a stencil real quick. Probably not real quick. It's playing a bit in here. <clears throat> but we could stencil, you know, our backgrounds. We always stencil. box of stencils. Well, but anyway, you could stencil. <laughs> I can't find my stencils. Let's use this cloud while I'm waiting on Ange. Did she answer? I don't know. Maybe she didn't hear me. This would be good just to glue these. But, you know, use your stencils. Well, y'all know how to use a stencil. I don't need to do all that. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to head on out then. Thanks for being here. I hope y'all enjoyed uh, Hump Day. Did a couple things. We colored in, uh, if you missed the other part, we colored in the Baker's Dozens, this new coloring book. Made a dent in, the, in uh, testing that out. And um, played a little bit in this old vintage 1967 typewriter book. So I guess I'll head on out. The covers of it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you all had a good hump day. <laughs> uh, Okay, guys, y'all have a great day. We'll see you later.